Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live on Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system? Could life, as we know it, exist there? This colossal celestial body is over 11 times the diameter of Earth. It's a gas giant made up mostly of hydrogen and helium, just like the Sun. This makes Jupiter vastly different from our home planet. Imagine being on a world where the ground beneath your feet isn't solid, but a churning sea of gas, where the winds whip up to speeds of over 300 miles per hour, and where the intense radiation is enough to fry most earthly electronics in an instant. The conditions on Jupiter are extreme and alien to us, posing unique challenges to the concept of life as we know it. But before we dismiss the possibility altogether, let's delve into the fascinating scientific theories that explore the possibility of life on Jupiter. Imagine a world made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, with traces of other gases like methane, ammonia, water vapor, and even neon. Welcome to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, a gas giant whose atmospheric conditions are as fascinating as they are unforgiving. Jupiter's atmosphere is a swirling mass of colorful bands and spots, each one a weather system with winds that can reach speeds of over 220 miles per hour. The most famous of these is the Great Red Spot, a storm that's been raging for at least 300 years, larger than the entire Earth. This crimson cyclone, with its hurricane-like winds and tumultuous activity, is a testament to the extreme conditions that prevail throughout the Jovian atmosphere. At the upper layer of this atmosphere, temperatures can dip to a frigid minus 220 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than any winter on Earth. Descend deeper, and you'll encounter pressures and temperatures that increase dramatically. By the time you reach the core, you'd be crushed and incinerated by conditions that are unimaginable to us. This high-pressure, high-temperature environment is inhospitable to life as we know it. The extreme cold of the upper atmosphere would freeze any known life form, while the intense heat and pressure deeper down would destroy it. Add to that the lack of a solid surface to stand on and you have a world that seems utterly hostile to the concept of life. Yet, despite these unforgiving conditions, Jupiter continues to captivate us. Its sheer size, its vibrant colors, and its tantalizing mysteries keep us looking, questioning, and wondering. Could there be life here, hidden beneath the swirling clouds and extreme conditions? Or is Jupiter, with its inhospitable atmosphere, a world destined to remain lifeless? But if life can't survive in the atmosphere, could it exist elsewhere on Jupiter? Scene script. Scientists have proposed a fascinating theory. What if life could exist not on the surface, but in the clouds of Jupiter? Yes, you heard it right, the clouds, an environment that is as alien as it gets. This theory might seem a bit far-fetched, but let's delve deeper into this idea. The concept of life in Jupiter's clouds centers around the fact that organisms would need to float or fly to avoid plummeting into the deeper, hotter layers of the planet. The life forms we're discussing wouldn't be the ones we're familiar with. No trees, no birds, no humans. Instead, these life forms might be more akin to airborne plankton or bacteria, capable of staying afloat in the dense gaseous atmosphere. Now, you might be wondering how is it possible for life to survive in such extreme conditions? And that's a valid question. But let's not forget about the existence of extremophiles on Earth. These are organisms that don't just survive, but thrive in extreme conditions. They live in environments with high acidity, extreme temperatures, or high radiation levels, conditions that would be deadly for most other life forms. Take the bacteria Dinococcus radiodurans, for example, often nicknamed Conan the Bacterium. It can survive cold, dehydration, vacuum, and acid, and is considered one of the most radiation-resistant organisms known. If life can adapt and thrive in such hostile conditions on Earth, why not in the clouds of Jupiter? But of course, life in Jupiter's clouds would have to adapt to its own set of challenges. There's the extreme cold, intense radiation, and lack of water, just to name a few. And yet, even with these hurdles, the possibility still exists. So while the clouds of Jupiter could potentially host life, it would be vastly different from 
anything we know on Earth. The idea is nothing short of fascinating, providing us with a fresh perspective on how we perceive life in the universe. It's a reminder that life as we know it is but one manifestation of what is possible in the vast cosmic theater. But wait, what about Jupiter's moons? Could they harbor life? Just when you thought all hope was lost, we stumble upon an exciting twist in our cosmic tale. Out of the 67 known moons orbiting Jupiter, two icy satellites in particular, Europa and Ganymede, have piqued the interest of scientists worldwide. Europa and Ganymede, unlike their parent planet, are believed to have subsurface oceans. That's right, beneath their icy crusts lie vast, salty oceans, potentially twice the volume of all of Earth's combined. These aren't shallow puddles we're speaking about, but deep, dark seas that could potentially harbor life forms. Now, you might be thinking, sure, water is crucial for life as we know it, but isn't there more to it? Absolutely. Life as we know it also requires a source of energy and certain chemical elements. Remarkably, these moons might just meet these criteria too. Tidal forces from Jupiter's immense gravitational pull create heat within these moons, possibly enough to maintain these liquid oceans and even drive underwater volcanic activity. Volcanic vents on Earth's ocean floors support vibrant ecosystems, so who's to say they can't do the same on these distant moons? And, as for the necessary chemical elements, observations suggest these moon's oceans could be interacting with their rocky mantles, creating a chemical-rich environment that could be just right for life to emerge. The intrigue surrounding these moons isn't just academic. In the not-so-distant future, space agencies like NASA and ESA have missions planned to explore Europa and Ganymede. Imagine spacecrafts drilling through miles of ice to explore these alien oceans or rovers traversing the icy landscapes in search of signs of life. So, while Jupiter itself may not be habitable, its moons could provide a glimmer of hope. We're not just looking for little green men anymore. We're looking for the possibility of life as we know it, in places we've never dared to imagine. So, let's keep our telescopes pointed and our minds open because the search for life is far from over. It's a grand cosmic drama and we're just beginning to uncover its secrets. The possibility of life on Jupiter or its moons is a captivating idea, one that continues to inspire scientists and space enthusiasts alike. We've journeyed through the enigma that is Jupiter, understanding its unforgiving atmosphere, a realm of extreme temperatures and crushing pressures. Yet, in this harsh environment, We've pondered the existence of life. Amidst the swirling clouds, we've speculated about the potential for life forms, adapting and thriving in ways we can barely fathom. Then, we've cast our gaze further to Jupiter's moons, contemplating the possibility of life beyond our expectations. Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, each with its unique conditions, hold their own promise of life, a new hope in our quest for extraterrestrial existence. As we continue to explore our vast and mysterious universe, who knows what we might discover next? Until then, the question remains, is life on Jupiter possible? The search continues.